Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Spanish ebook before it's gone. Hola, hello, my name is Brenda Romaniello and I'm your Spanish teacher. Today, we're going to have a look at some greetings and some parting expressions in Spanish. Let's start with some vocabulary for greetings in Spanish. We're gonna start with buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días significa good morning, it means good morning, and we use it in Spanish between 6 a.m. and 11 a.m. in the morning, okay? So if you are between 6 a.m. and 11 a.m. and you want to greet someone in Spanish, you say, buenos días, buenos días. Let's continue with the next one, buenas, buenas. Buenas. Buenas means it's a it's a definitely more casual than saying buenos dias. And this one means morning or evening. See? And this means basically that when we want to greet uh, someone, and we can use it as you can see here throughout the entire day. But please be careful, this is very informal, this is very casual, so it de depends in what situation you are in in Spanish. So, for example, if you are talking to the Queen or the President, the Pope, maybe don't say buenas, perhaps address them as buenos dias, yes, if it is in the morning, uh, because it's a little bit more informal, more casual, but you will notice when you speak to Spanish speakers that we just simply say buenas, Buenas, and that's really cool. It's kind of like a what's up, yeah, or morning, evening, etc. Another one that we can use all throughout the day, and I'm sure that you know this one, is hola. 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 Hola means hello, okay? And again, you can use it throughout the day. Let's move on to the next one, which is buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches significa it means good evening. You can say good evening from 7 p.m. until midnight. And also buenas noches. I'm going to give you this one. It's a bonus uh, expression that we'll talk about in a minute when we talk about the parting expressions in Spanish. How you can say goodbye to a Spanish speaker. Okay, so remember, buenos dias, buenas, hola, buenas noches, okay? So good morning, morning or hello, and good evening. Let's talk now about some parting expressions. This is if you want to say goodbye in Spanish. We can say adios, adios, adios. Adios significa bye, yes, and we can use it all throughout the day. It doesn't matter if you're saying goodbye to someone in the morning, afternoon, or evening, you can say adios in Spanish. The other one, nos vemos, nos vemos, nos vemos, nos vemos. And as you can see, this one means see you again or see you later, okay, see you later. See you again, nos vemos, nos vemos. And again, you can use it at any time of the day in Spanish to say goodbye. And the last one, que descanses, que descanses, que descanses, que descanses. This is a beautiful phrase, it's a beautiful expression. I love it, it's so caring, so loving, and it means have a good rest, have a good rest. So this is specifically used at night between 7 p.m. and midnight. Uh, well, some people are up until two in the morning. My mom calls me sometimes at two in the morning in Argentina, and I'm like, what are you doing up, woman? <laughs> yes, so that happens. In the Latin world, we go to bed a lot later, I believe, than 
say, for example, for example, uh, English countries. But it's a beautiful expression that you can use to say good night or have a nice rest when you go to sleep or when someone is going to sleep or retiring for the night. You can say que descanses, que descanses. Excellent. And I promised you I was going to give you two expressions for the price of one. And here you have it. Buenas noches means, as we had a look into before, we said buenas noches means good evening, but it also means good night. So if you want to say good night, yes, or ha good night, have a nice rest, you can say buenas noches, que descanses. Okay, so how do you know which one is which? Well, usually when you greet someone and it's the evening, yes, you will say buenas noches, yes, good evening. And then when you have been talking to a person and you're ready to go and it's night time, then you know that it means good night. And of course you can say que descanses, have a nice rest. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a ver un diálogo, ¿sí? Now we're going to have a look and listen to a dialogue. Two friends are talking. Let's have a look. We can say, buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días. Buenas. Buenas. Buenos días. Buenas. You can reply to buenos días with another buenos días, or you can say hola, or you can say buenas, as we have the example here. Now we come to the part where I had to do some drawing <laughs> for you. So this is a sun, el sol, and this is a moon, yeah? So that's a luna, see, luna moon. Okay, so let's have a look at some vocabulary for greetings at different times of the day. So in the morning, yes, if you want to say good morning, we say in Espanol, buenos días, buenos días. In the afternoon, we say buenas tardes, buenas tardes, buenas tardes. And in the evening, we say buenas noches. Buenas noches. Muy bien. Very good. And there's something that I want us to have a look into. The first thing that I want us to analyze is the fact that, have you noticed that we say buenas tardes and buenas noches, but we say buenos días? And I know that días has an A there, which usually means that these words are feminine in Spanish. Días is one of the exceptions of the rule. Días is actually a masculino word. That's why we have to say buenos días, okay? Because días is masculino and it's plural. So in this case, we say buenos días, okay? And buenas tardes, tardes is femenino. That's why we say buenas tardes. And noches is also femenino. So that's why we say buenas noches. Remember also that we can say buenas throughout the day, and that means evening, what's up, morning, and hello, of course, hola. See, we can say hola throughout the entire day at any time. Do you remember how to say good morning in Spanish? Buenos días. Buenos días. And do you remember how to say good evening in Spanish? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. And how do you say morning or evening? Buenas. Buenas. And how do you say hello in Spanish? Hola. Hola. How do you say see you again? or see you later in Spanish. Nos vemos. Nos vemos. And how do you say bye in Spanish? Adios. Adios. And the last one, how do you say, do you remember how to say, have a good rest? Que descanses. Que descanses. 
¡Fantástico! That's an excellent job. Muchas gracias y nos vemos en la próxima clase. Thank you very much and I will see you next class. ¡Adiós! Do you feel like you don't speak enough Spanish? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn how to ask where something is located. After watching this video, you'll be able to ask for directions. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. ¿Dónde está el supermercado? Es por allá. Once more with the English translation. ¿Dónde está el supermercado? Where is the supermarket? Es por allá. It's over there. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, where is place? The pattern is, ¿Dónde está? Place. For example, where is the supermarket? ¿Dónde está el supermercado? ¿Dónde está el supermercado? Now, how do you answer this question? Es por allá. Listen to it again. Es por allá. Es por allá. Here are a few more places you can use with the same pattern. The supermarket. El supermercado. El supermercado. The supermarket. El supermercado. The bank. El banco. El banco. The bank. El banco. The bathroom. El baño. El baño. The bathroom. El baño. The mall. El centro comercial. El centro comercial. The mall. El centro comercial. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. ¿Dónde está el banco? Es por allá. Where is the bank? ¿Dónde está el banco? It's over there. Es por allá. ¿Dónde está el baño? Es por allá. Where is the bathroom? ¿Dónde está el baño? It's over there. Es por allá. ¿Dónde está el centro comercial? Es por allá. Where is the mall? ¿Dónde está el centro comercial? It's over there. Es por allá. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, where is place? ¿Dónde está? Place. And how do you answer it? Es por allá. Imagine you're looking for the bank. Do you remember how to say, the bank? El banco. 
El banco. Say, where is the bank? ¿Dónde está el banco? Now, ask where the bank is, and answer, saying the bank is over there. ¿Dónde está el banco? Es por allá. Now, imagine you're looking for the bathroom. Do you remember how to say, the bathroom? El baño. El baño. Say, where is the bathroom? ¿Dónde está el baño? Now, ask where the bathroom is, and answer, saying the bathroom is over there. ¿Dónde está el baño? Es por allá. Now, imagine you're looking for the mall. Do you remember how to say, the mall? El centro comercial. El centro comercial. Say, where is the mall? ¿Dónde está el centro comercial? Now, ask where the mall is, and answer, saying the mall is over there. ¿Dónde está el centro comercial? Es por allá. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to ask the location of a place. You're now able to ask for directions like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Ask your fellow learners directions to a place. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the word bank, your personal vocabulary collection, where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. In this video, you learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Spanish. Hi everybody, my name is Rosa. Welcome to the 800th Core Spanish Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Spanish, but there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at SpanishPod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Spanish. Okay, let's get started. First is... Hola. Hello. Hola. Hola. Hello. Cuando conozco a alguien por primera vez, me gusta decir hola. When I first meet someone, I like to say hello. Cuando conozco a alguien por primera vez, me gusta decir hola. Disculpe. Excuse me. Disculpe. Disculpe. Excuse me. Disculpe, me gustaría ir al ayuntamiento. Excuse me, I'd like to go to the city hall. Disculpe, me gustaría ir al ayuntamiento. Lo siento. I'm sorry. 
Lo siento. Lo siento. I'm sorry. Lo siento. No está aquí ahora mismo. I'm sorry. He's not here right now. Lo siento. No está aquí ahora mismo. Buenas noches. Good night. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Good night. Los niños vienen a la planta de abajo para decirnos buenas noches. The kids come downstairs to tell us good night. Los niños vienen a la planta de abajo para decirnos buenas noches. Encantado de conocerte. Nice to meet you. Encantado de conocerte. Encantado de conocerte. Nice to meet you. Encantado de conocerle, señor. Nice to meet you, sir. Encantado de conocerle, señor. ¿Cómo estás? How are you? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? How are you? ¿Qué hay de nuevo? ¿Cómo estás? What's new? How are you? ¿Qué hay de nuevo? ¿Cómo estás? Sí. Yes. Sí. Sí. Yes. Sí. Está buenísimo. Yes. It's delicious. Sí. Está buenísimo. No. 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 Señal de no. No sign. Señal de no. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias por venir. Thank you for coming. Gracias por venir. Me llamo. I'm name. Me llamo. Me llamo. I'm name. Me llamo John. I'm John. Me llamo John. Adiós. Goodbye. Adiós. Adiós. Goodbye. Estaba triste por decirle adiós a su novio. She was sad to say goodbye to her boyfriend. Estaba triste por decirle adiós a su novio. Malo. Bad. Malo. Malo. Bad. El hombre es malo. The man is bad. El hombre es malo. Bueno. Good. Bueno. Bueno. Good. 
Las verduras son buenas para ti. Vegetables are good for you. Las verduras son buenas para ti. Guapa. Pretty. Guapa. Guapa. Pretty. Es guapa. She is pretty. Es guapa. Feo. Ugly. Feo. Feo. Ugly. Rostro feo. Ugly face. Rostro feo. Fácil. Easy. Fácil. Fácil. Easy. Decisión fácil. Easy decision. Decisión fácil. Difícil. Difficult. Difícil. Difícil. Difficult. Muy difícil. Very difficult. Muy difícil. Cerca. Near. Cerca. Cerca. Near. La manzana está cerca de la naranja. The apple is near the orange. La manzana está cerca de la naranja. Lejos. Far. Lejos. Lejos. Far. La mujer está viendo algo a lo lejos. The woman is looking at something far away. La mujer está viendo algo a lo lejos. Pequeño. Small. Pequeño. Pequeño. Small. Muy pequeña. Very small. Muy pequeña. Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Spanish. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at SpanishPod101.com. See you next time. Adios. Hi, my name is Rosa, and today we will be doing the top 25 phrases in Spanish. So the first one is, hola, hello. Hola, which means hello. Hola is a very casual way to greet someone, so you can say hola to your friends and hola to your family and hola to everyone. <laughs> Adios, goodbye. Adios is goodbye. I don't know why, but to me, adios sounds a bit harsh, so I don't really like saying adios. It sounds like you're not going to see that person again, maybe. <laughs> so instead of adios, I would maybe use hasta luego, which is see you later. Buenos días, good morning. The next one is buenos días, which is good morning. Yep, you say it when you see someone in the morning. So, <gasps> buenos días. <laughs> Buenas tardes, good afternoon. Buenas tardes, <laughs> which is good afternoon. Buenas tardes is used uh, from 12 p.m. on. So, yeah, maybe you are having lunch and you see someone, so you say, buenas tardes. <laughs> Buenas noches, good night. 
The next one is buenas noches, which means good night. Say like goodbye. When you are going to sleep, you say buenas noches. Is the last thing you say. Buenas noches. Sí. Yes. The next phrase is sí, which means yes. <laughs> For example, if someone asks me, do you want a slice of cheesecake? I would say sí. No. No. Uh, the next phrase is no, which means no. <laughs> For example, do you want to do your homework? No. Nos vemos. See you later. Uh, the next one is nos vemos, which is see you later. Very casual. So yeah, you can say it to your friends or yeah, to your family, whatever, when you want to say like goodbye. See you soon. <laughs> Hasta mañana. See you tomorrow. The next one is hasta mañana, which means see you tomorrow. For example, if you are mm, at the university and you want to uh, say goodbye to your friends, which you won't be seeing until tomorrow, you would say hasta mañana. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? What is your name? So the next phrase is ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Uh, which means what is your name? Uh, Mi nombre es Rosa. And yep, yeah, what is your name? Tell me. <laughs> Yo soy Rosa. I am Rosa. The next phrase is yo soy plus your name. So in my case, yo soy Rosa. And it means I am Rosa. What's your name? Encantado de conocerle. Nice to meet you. The next phrase is encantado de conocerle, which is nice to meet you. But the thing is that encantado de conocerle uh, is a bit formal. So if you want to say to your friends or, I don't know, family, uh, you could say encantado de conocerte. Encantado de conocerte. <laughs> Gracias. Thank you. The next phrase is gracias, which is thank you. If you want to say thank you very much, you would say uh, muchas gracias. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, gracias por ver este video. Thank you. De nada. You're welcome. And the next phrase is de nada, uh, which means you're welcome. So yep, whenever someone says thank you to you, make sure to say de nada. <laughs> no hay de qué. Don't mention it. The next phrase is, no hay de qué, don't mention it. <laughs> so if you do a favor to someone and that someone says thank you to you, gracias, uh, you could say, no hay de qué. <laughs> por favor, please. The next one is por favor, which means please. So if you want to ask for a favor uh, to someone, you would say, por favor. <laughs> por favor, suscribiros a este canal. <laughs> please subscribe to this channel. <laughs> Perdón, sorry. The next one is perdón, <laughs> which is sorry. If you haven't heard something properly and you want the other person to repeat it, you can say perdón. <laughs> lo siento, sorry. The next one is lo siento, I'm sorry. So if you did something wrong, uh, that's what you say. So for example, if you get late to class, uh, you could say to the, to the teacher, lo siento, <laughs> bienvenidos, welcome. The next one is bienvenidos, which is welcome, bienvenido. <laughs> if someone is coming to your house, you can say bienvenidos. <laughs> ¿Cómo estás? How are you? The next one is ¿Cómo estás? Which means how are you? It's not a formal uh, way to say it, but maybe a more informal way would be ¿Qué tal? But yeah, I think you can use ¿Cómo estás? Like with almost everyone. Like sometimes when you ask ¿Cómo estás? Uh, you want like a more in-depth answer. Like you don't want a simple I'm fine, but you really want to know how that person is. But maybe ¿Qué tal? is more casual. And it's just like you just want to hear I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you. For example, if you ask someone ¿Cómo estás? That person could tell you I'm not very good, I lost my job, and I'm trying to find a new one, but hmm, something like that. ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? The next one is, ¿qué hora es? What time is it? Uh, so now it's four o'clock, eh, las cuatro en punto. ¿Cuánto es? How much? The next one is, ¿cuánto es? Uh, how much? So when you enter a shop and you want to know the price of something, you can say ¿cuánto es? Also you can say ¿cuánto cuesta? It's the same thing. ¿Qué es eso? What is that? The next one is ¿qué es eso? What is that? 
yeah, you can point at something and ask, ¿qué es eso? <laughs> ¿En dónde está el baño? Where is the bathroom? The next one is, ¿en dónde está el baño? Uh, where is the bathroom? Yeah, very useful <laughs> phrase to know. So, for example, if you are in a restaurant and you want to go to the bathroom, you can ask the waiter, ¿dónde está el baño? And then the waiter indicates you and yeah, you go to the bathroom. <laughs> no lo comprendo. I don't understand. The next one is, no lo comprendo, which is, I don't understand it. If someone is talking to you and um, you are a bit lost, you can say, lo siento, sorry, eh, no lo comprendo, I don't understand. If they are nice, they will try to explain it better to you. <laughs> also, eh, instead of comprendo, you can also say entiendo. So, eh, no lo entiendo, it would be the same thing. This is the end. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed these top 25 phrases in Spanish and don't forget to subscribe. Bye! I am a bit shy, I don't know. I don't know. Welcome to SpanishPod101.com Español en 3 minutos The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Spanish. Hola, soy Lucia. Mucho gusto. Hi, I'm Lucia. Nice to meet you. In this series, we are going to learn basic Spanish phrases. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to introduce yourself in Spanish. You will be surprised at how easy it is. Are you ready? Listen again to my introduction. Hola, soy Lucia. Mucho gusto. Hi, I'm Lucia. Nice to meet you. Hola, soy Lucia. Mucho gusto. The first word is hola, which means hi or hello. After that comes soy, which means I am. Hola, soy, and then your name. Hola, soy Lucia, means hi, I'm Lucia. Finally, say mucho gusto, which means nice to meet you. So all together it is. Hola, soy Lucia, mucho gusto. Hi, I'm Lucia, nice to meet you. It's a polite and common way to greet someone. There is also another way to say your name. Instead of soy Lucia, you could say me llamo Lucia. Me llamo literally means I call myself, but we use it to mean my name is. Hola, me llamo Lucia. Mucho gusto. Hi, my name is Lucia. Nice to meet you. Hola, me llamo Lucia. Mucho gusto. Again, let's take a look at these two ways to introduce yourself. Hola, soy Lucia. Mucho gusto. Hi, I'm Lucia. Nice to meet you. Hola, me llamo Lucia. Mucho gusto. Hi, my name is Lucia. Nice to meet you. Now it's time for Lucia's insights. People in Spanish-speaking countries greet each other by shaking hands. But depending on the situation, we often kiss each other on the cheek. So don't be surprised if this happens to you. Do you know how we say Thank you. In Spanish, you will learn how to say this and many other words in the next lesson. Hasta la próxima. See you then. Hello, my name is Rosa and this is Spanish Top Words. And today we'll be doing top 20 travel phrases you should know. ¿Cuánto cuesta esto? How much is this? ¿Cuánto cuesta esto? How much is this? You can also say ¿Cuánto vale? ¿Hablas inglés? Do you speak English? ¿Hablas inglés? Do you speak English? In most cases, the answer to that might not be that positive, but yeah, you can try. Mm. ¿Me puedo probar esto? Can I try this on? ¿Me puedo probar esto? Can I try this on? So if you enter a clothing store and there's something you like, you can ask the shopping assistant. ¿Me puedo probar esto? ¿Tienes sitio para esta noche? Do you have any vacancies tonight? ¿Tienes sitio para esta noche? Do you have any vacancies tonight? Maybe try to not get to the point in which you have to ask this and book your room beforehand. No. <laughs> ¿Tienes alguna recomendación? 
Do you have any recommendations? ¿Tienes alguna recomendación? Do you have any recommendations? Like if you travel to Spain, you have to go to Granada. <laughs> Cannot miss it. Most beautiful city in the world. Me gustaría 10 de estos. I'd like 10 of these. Me gustaría 10 de estos. I'd like 10 of these. So if you want to buy souvenirs for all your friends and you don't really w want to like think a lot, you just can find some, I don't know, keychain or postcard. Um, say, me gustaría 10 de estos. I would like 10 of these. And it'll be over because it's pretty stressful to find souvenirs for everyone. <laughs> me gustaría este. I'd like this. Me gustaría este. I'd like this. So if you're talking to the shopping assistant and maybe the thing you want is a bit further away, like you can point at it and say, me gustaría este. Tengo una reserva. I have a reservation. Tengo una reserva. I have a reservation. So if you really want to go to a restaurant, try to like research a little bit and see if that place is normally full so that you can like make a reservation beforehand. ¿Es este el autobús correcto para el aeropuerto? Is this the right bus for the airport? ¿Es este el autobús correcto para el aeropuerto? Is this the right bus for the airport? Normally going by taxi to the airport is pretty expensive, so you want to check the buses. ¿Es gratis el wifi? Is the Wi-Fi free? ¿Es gratis el wifi? Is the Wi-Fi free? The Spanish people have this tendency of saying wifi even in English, because we are so used to call it that way in Spanish. So if uh, someone person is talking to you and say something about Wi-Fi, you know they mean Wi-Fi. ¿Me podría dar un descuento? Could you give me a discount? ¿Me podría dar un descuento? Could you give me a discount? Um, so it's not that common in Spain to ask for a discount in a store. So yeah, maybe if you go to an outdoors market or to these stalls near the beach, uh, you can ask for a discount. ¿Me podría encontrar una habitación para no fumadores? Could you find me a non-smoking room? ¿Me podría encontrar una habitación para no fumadores? Could you find me a non-smoking room? So about smoking, like um, in Spain is forbidden to smoke inside places. And I find it so funny that in Japan is the opposite, like you cannot smoke outside, but you can smoke in places. I just find it kind of weird. How is it in your country? <laughs> ¿Podría sacarme una foto, por favor? Could you take a picture of me, please? ¿Podría sacarme una foto, por favor? Could you take a picture of me, please? I have the impression that lately, with all these selfie sticks and things, like people are not asking that anymore. But before, like, it was really common to get us that. ¿Podría tener la cuenta? Could I have the check? ¿Podría tener la cuenta? Could I have the check? Uh, and also you can just say, la cuenta, por favor. It's the same thing. ¿Tienen algún plato vegetariano? Do you have any vegetarian dishes? ¿Tienen algún plato vegetariano? Do you have any vegetarian dishes? So, before it wasn't that common, but nowadays there are a lot of vegetarian and vegan places opening in Spain, so it's getting easier. And also, like in normal places, they now have like options for vegetarian people. So, yeah, getting easier. Perdone, ¿cuál es la tarifa? Excuse me, what's the fare? Perdone, ¿cuál es la tarifa? 
Excuse me, what's the fair? Some museums and monuments uh, sometimes have like a special fair for students. So if you are one, you can maybe ask, Perdone, ¿cuál es la tarifa para estudiantes? ¿Aceptáis tarjeta de crédito? Do you take credit cards? ¿Aceptáis tarjeta de crédito? Do you take credit cards? Mm, so in most shops in Spain, uh, you can pay by car and there's no problem. But maybe if you go to a small town, go to a small shop, like you might have to pay in cash. So yeah, in these cases, like you can ask this question. ¿Podría darme un mapa? Could I get a map? ¿Podría darme un mapa? Could I get a map? I'm so thankful about Google Maps because I have no sense of direction and even if I have a map, like for me, it's so difficult to like understand it and follow it. So yeah, I'm happy there's technology now. <laughs> ¿Podríamos tener el menú, por favor? Could we have the menu, please? ¿Podríamos tener el menú, por favor? Could we have the menu, please? Yeah, if you go to a restaurant, you can ask this question and they'll bring you the menu. Esto no es lo que pedí. This isn't what I ordered. Esto no es lo que pedí. This isn't what I ordered. Yeah, normally if you get something different from what you ordered and you say this politely, like they will replace it for you. Um, so no problem. Perdona, sorry, but this is not what I ordered. ¿Te importaría cambiarlo? Could you mind to change it? So this is the end. Today we did 20 travel phrases you should know. Tell me what would you like to see if you travel to Spain? Don't forget to check out SpanishPod101.com and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Hasta pronto. Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. Hola a todos. Soy Lucía. Hi, everybody. I'm Lucía. Welcome to SpanishPod101.com. Español en tres minutos. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Spanish. In the last lesson, we learned how to show thanks by saying gracias. In this lesson, we will learn some of the most common greetings used in Spanish. ¿Están listos? Are you ready? Empecemos. Let's start. The most used informal greeting is hola. Hola. Hola means hi or hello. We can use it in formal and informal situations at any time of day. It's very convenient. Hola. Now, let's look at some greetings that are used at certain times of day. First is good morning. Good morning in Spanish is buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días literally means good day, but we use it to mean good morning. During the day, we say buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes means good afternoon. This can be used all day, as long as it's light outside. Again, buenas tardes. When it starts to get dark, you can switch to this. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches means good evening or good night, depending on the situation. If you're greeting someone in the evening, it means good evening. If you're speaking to someone before you go to sleep, it means good night. Again, that's buenas noches. Now, you can greet people in many different ways in Spanish. Let's review them all again. As a general greeting, hola. In the morning, buenos días. In the afternoon or during the day, buenas tardes. In the evening or at night, buenas noches. Pretty easy, right? Now it's time for Lucia's insights. If you are not sure which greeting is right to use, buenos días, buenas tardes, or buenas noches, just remember that all that can be used at any time of day. During the next lesson, you will learn the meaning of habla inglés. Do you already know it? In our next lesson, you will learn this phrase and more. Hasta la próxima. See you then. Hello, everybody. This is Rosa, and today we'll be doing the top 10 must know vocabulary for the restaurant. So let's go. Camarero, waiter, 
Camarero, waiter. Si no te gusta, díselo al camarero. If you don't like it, say so to the waiter. Like when I was younger, it was very awkward for me to say anything to the waiter. Like I wouldn't complain or anything. But yeah, nowadays, if I think that they did something wrong, I think I would say it. Camarera, waitress, camarera, waitress. Esta camarera es muy simpática y alegre. This waitress is very kind and cheerful. In this case, and in a lot of words also in Spanish, like when you want to change the gender from masculine to feminine, you change the last O into an A. So that's the case with camarero and camarera. Menú, 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 menú. Tenemos el menú en inglés y español. We have the menu in English and Spanish. Pedido, order. Pedido, order. ¿Está listo el pedido de la mesa 12? Is the order for table 12 ready? Agua, water. Agua, water. Me quedé sin agua. ¿Puedes pedirle más al camarero? I ran out of water. Can you ask the waiter for some more? Yeah, in Spain it's not like... Some other countries in which like you get water just when you're entering the restaurant. So if you want some, you have to order it. And you have to specify that you want tap water as well. Like you receive bottled water and you'll have to pay for that, obviously. But yeah, like normally they won't say anything, but you have to ask for it. Yeah. Postre. Dessert. Postre. Dessert. De postre, tráigame una tarta de Santiago, por favor. For dessert, bring me a Santiago cake, please. Santiago cake is typical from Galicia, from the no northern part of Spain. It's mainly like prepared with almonds. And it's, it's really good. Chef, 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 chef. Un buen chef tiene que ser muy estricto con la limpieza. A good chef has to be very strict with cleaning. So, yeah, in Spanish we pronounce the C-A-H like che, che, chef. You write it the same way as in English, but the pronunciation is a bit difficult, so be careful about that. Comida basura, fast food. Comida basura, fast food. No entiendo cómo la gente puede comer comida basura sabiendo que no es buena para la salud. I do not understand how people can eat fast food knowing that it's no good for one's health. So in Spanish is comida basura, which could translate literally like a, like trash food. So it's not like fast, it's like trash. Restaurante, restaurant. Restaurante, restaurant. Este restaurante vietnamita tiene unos menús muy buenos entre semana. This Vietnamese restaurant has very good menus during the week. Cuenta, bill. Cuenta, bill. ¿Podría traerme la cuenta, por favor? Could you bring me the bill, please? So if you want to tell the waiter to bring you the bill without saying anything, like you just can do this to the waiter and they'll understand you and they'll bring you the bill. And this is the end of today's lesson. Today we did top 10 must know vocabulary for the restaurant. I hope you liked it. Are there any other words for restaurants that you missed on this list? Please tell us in the comments below. If you want to get more Spanish lessons, please check the site SpanishPod101.com and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye, hasta luego. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. ¡Qué aburrimiento! ¡Vamos a hacer algo! 
Pero apenas es miércoles. No hay mucho que hacer esta noche. Bueno, vamos a hablarle a Marco. Él siempre tiene buenas ideas. Me parece. Déjale, Marco. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Aburrimiento. Boredom. Apenas. As soon as. No sooner than. Hardly. Marcar. To dial. Hablar. To speak. To talk. Idea. Idea. Me parece. I think so. I agree. Siempre. Always. Noche. Night. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. ¡Qué aburrimiento! ¡Vamos a hacer algo! Pero apenas es miércoles. No hay mucho que hacer esta noche. Bueno, vamos a hablarle a Marco. Él siempre tiene buenas ideas. Me parece. Déjale, Marco. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you will review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Hola, Stephanie. Wow, te ves diferente. ¿Qué te hiciste? Ay, sí, pues, adivina. Mm, te cortaste el pelo. ¿O estás usando diferente maquillaje? Ninguna de esas. Soy Caterina, no Stephanie. Now you will hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Maquillaje. Makeup. Usar. To use. Cortar. To cut. Pelo. Hair. Diferente. Different. Verse. To look at oneself. Adivinar. To guess. Ningún. None, not any. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Hola, Stephanie. Wow, te ves diferente. ¿Qué te hiciste? Ay, sí. Pues, adivina. Mm, te cortaste el pelo. ¿O estás usando diferente maquillaje? Ninguna de esas. Soy Caterina, no Stephanie. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson.
expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Spanish ebook before it's gone.